Hey, this is Dr. Joseph with Vail Summit Orthopedics, and today I'm going to discuss the differences in ACL reconstructions. If patients are hurt here that they need to have an ACL reconstruction, there's a couple of different uh, ways that we can do this where we need to put in a new ligament. When the ligament tears completely, you're not able to just go sew it back together like you can some ligaments or some tendons. This one won't heal if you just sew it back together typically. And so you have to do an ACL reconstruction and that means we put in a new ACL. So in general, when you're gonna put in a new ACL, you have the choice of either using another of your own body parts and that's called an autograft. And an autograft is borrowing your own body parts and using them or kind of repurposing them as a new ligament. And so you can borrow a tendon, uh, which is the most common, and you can put that in there and it becomes your new ligament over time and heals in. That's called an autograft. Um, the most common ones are either to use your hamstring tendons, which has been the case for many, many years. Um, another option is a quadriceps tendon. And then another option is a part of the patellar tendon. And so in each of those, we borrow a little bit of the tissue there, be it patellar tendon, quadriceps tendon, or uh, your hamstring tendons, and then we, we realign it and it becomes, uh, it becomes your new ACL. Um, in general, for younger patients, the recommendation is to use uh, your own tissue. And it's a pretty firm recommendation if you're under 25. So there's literature to support that it's better to use your own tissue if you're under 25 years old. Um, between 25 and 35 is a bit of a gray area uh, where some say it's better and some say it's equivocal of using uh, allograft. Now allograft is cadaveric tissue. Allograft is cadaver tissue and that tissue has been harvested and taken from someone that died and then it's been treated. Uh, it, it always sounds kind of creepy of course but it's very safe and it's been um, very well proven with many years now that it's, it's very safe. So there are a lot of techniques to how we clean it, prepare it, and get it ready and the government got involved years ago to very much standardize this and so we completely trust the allografts at this stage. There's not disease transmission and there's not rejection and we get a lot of questions about well, will my body reject this. Um, with um, uh, older patients, and I'm qualified as that, older would be 45 and older, or even 35 and older, then there's a discussion of which one to use, either allograft or autograft. The numbers are pretty similar as far as the success rate uh, within a couple of um, uh, percentage points. So for patients that I treat that are over 45, my recommendation is almost always to use cadaver. And the reason is it's a lot easier to get over the surgery and you're not borrowing any tissue from your own body. And so you're not borrowing any of the other ones, be it your, your patellar tendon or your hamstring, and so you don't have to get over us using that tissue. Um, it's predictable, again, it's, there's no rejection, and the body tends to accept that and take that. It doesn't speed up the healing to use your own tissue, both are approximately six months. So in general, if patients are under 25 years old, I like to offer an autograft, and all, there's arguments for all three autographs. They all work very well. The one that's been around the longest is uh, the hamstring tendons, and that one's been used for many, many years, and it's quite predictable, and it's, it's still the one I use uh, because of its predictability and its, um, its history. Um, and then if uh, patients are over 45, uh, then I suggest using the cadaver, which is what I would have if I had to have an ACL tear on my own knee uh, no reconstruction. And then uh, lastly, the in-between zone, I kind of uh, have a discussion with the patient of what's their preference and, um, and use that. So all of them work predictably, and um, some people are real adamant about one or the other, but when you look at the big numbers, which is easy to do with these 10,000 patient studies, um, they're equivocal except for the age part. And so they all work well, and it's a personal decision um, that um, between the doctor and the patient, uh, but they're statistically very predictable. So come see us uh, if you have the unfortunate injury of ACL tear. Uh, Dr. Joseph, Vail Summit Orthopedics.